All right, guys. Welcome back to another video. This time, I'm going to be covering the long, the long-awaited, which I should have done some time ago, but it's better to do it now than never. And that is the Axolotl Prime. We already know how epic the Axolotl Prime is, how crazy it goes as far as with Endgame. It could just shred enemies down in seconds. The crit, the fire rate, all of that stuff welded into this one beautiful weapon. And we all still got to thank Vaubin Prime for coming out because, again, he brought these things along with them into this game. Now, as far as with my build, this is how I built it. And it's because of the Riven mod why I had to form it for the seventh time. It's because of this. I had to fit this in there. So now, as you see, I got Hornet, Strike Barrel, Diffusion, Lethal Torrent, Pistol Prime Gambit, Target Cracker, you know, Pistol Pestilence, and Jolt. Now I got this in there, the Axe Little Riven, hooray, which has crit damage, status, reload speed, but negative 32.8 ammo maximum. I ain't worrying about the ammo maximum anyway, because I could keep getting back ammo, it doesn't really matter. But the thing that sticks out as far as with the Riven mod for me is that the crit damage and that status. So now I got it at 98.8. Which is really nice. So, as far as it shredding enemies down in seconds. Let's just get get out our little friend here. Where is he at? I'm going to get out this corrupted bombard. Top of top. He's been topped off at 145. So, here's what I'm going to do here. I'm just going to just have him up there and then stasis right there. Now look how I was going to shred this bastard. What was that? Like two, three seconds? <laughs> he's he's already dead. Now as far as what the hell is happening with this is that because of the fire rate, the status and the crit, all of that is welded down together so that it could take it out so fast. And especially with the crit... The, that I got as far as with the Riven mod is downright crazy. It doesn't even have to be level 145. I mean, most of you guys, y'all yeah, probably went up to like level 100 enemies and whatnot, seeing them a whole bunch of times, level 100. The extra levels be, be clearing them out. It, it's not even funny how fast these damn things could be killing these guys or it could be heavy gunners. It really doesn't matter. It just takes them, man. And it's a, it's a, it's also a shame too when you think about it because again they got so much armor but as far as with the axolotls it really doesn't matter you just aim for their head and watch the crit just take over and the fire rate and the status it just melts them down in seconds in seconds not minutes I'm talking seconds now some of you guys may have the regular axolotls and whatnot. I still have mine. I'm trying to fit, I think, the Riven mod in there so that I could finish this saw so I could test this myself as well. But as far as with the regular, uh, not the regular, but the Axe Little Prime, I got two builds. I got the one with the Riven in it and the one with the Hydraulic Crosshairs. If some of y'all don't know about the Hydraulic Crosshairs, this drops from one of the Acolytes who was in the game some time ago. But as far as with headshot, it increases your critical chance while aiming for 9 seconds. Now, it's still in there, but as far as with the Riven mod, it increased my status and the crit multiplier. But again, it's not going to hurt it. Because as you see, with the fire rate kicked into these things, it, it it's like, man, just the fire rate and the crit alone will just eat this guy for lunch. Now, I'm just going to get him up there as well, and just to show you guys yet again, just aim for his head, and just watch it go to town. Just the status alone, and then it just falls. <laughs> like, it's just downright crazy. And you see him, just him, they're wallowing in, in, in pain and in death. It's like, the Axolotls is by far, you could say, the best secondaries that we have in this game right now. The only difference between having this on and having this is that you get crit damage, but you're also improving on that status. 
the reload, you know, it's going to be there. But the crit damage and the status, I'm having more status and my crit multiplier goes up to 5.1. So again, this is only increasing my crit chance, but not the crit damage. You want the crit damage so you could deal more damage. That's why I like this build right here because again, the... What is it? The crit multiplier with the status goes in more because again you're doing crit damage. So these guys, they're just they're just sitting ducks, man. It, it, once you just keep hitting them in the face, they only could take but so much until they decide to just die. So as you can see, the crit damage there. See, he's already dead. I already got 10 ammo left before I even had to reload. The one that I had the hydraulic crosshairs in was just triggering critical chance, but not the the crit damage. So as you can see, he doesn't even have a head anymore. <laughs> I pretty much just melted his freaking head so much that he doesn't even have a head anymore. So, as far as with these Axolotls, man, having the Riven mod in there is downright crazy, man. It, it, it really puts the Axolotls, it pushes it to the next level. Now, as far as with the Riven mod, you could roll... If you have damage and multi-shot, that's also good on the Axolotls. You could even have critical chance, crit damage, and overall damage. Forget about the reload speed, because again, it reloads fast enough. Or you could just have status chance, or you could, like how I have, status chance and crit damage. And also, if you want to add multi-shot on it, fine. Any one of those combos work, as long as you have critical chance, crit damage, or status. And you can have multi-shot in there as well. These things will just kill downright anything in this game in seconds. So it's it's just that epic of a weapon. It really, really is. It's by far the best secondaries we have in this game.